Alright, we're back with part three of Hilltop Zone. Whoops, I forgot to spin there, sure. It's gonna start out with a... Oh, wait. Yeah, an earthquake. Oh wait, no, it's not yet. What am I thinking? Anyway, keep continuing right. Oh man, I jumped on him. You've seen that. And spin right at the top. Keep going right. And jump over the fire guy. You do not want to get hit by him. He's very hard to kill because you have to wait for his fire. So you're just better off avoiding him to save time. Okay, here's the earthquake. Keep going up. Do not wait for things. Just keep keep going up. If you see an opportunity, jump up on it. Like here. You don't have much time. And we are safe. Madness! Stop the madness! Okay, I just wanted to do that for fun. <laughs> I always like doing that. I don't know why, it's just funny. Keep going down. Yes, down. That's the only way to go because of these things. Lava's coming up, avoid that. We are almost towards the boss. Now this is the boss Tails killed me at because I went right through him and lost all my rings. Now what you have to do is jump jump on him as soon as he comes out of the lava and you'll rape him. You'll get all eight hits. Don't worry about if you take a hit, just as long as you have one ring you are safe. Or a shield. That's like one of the easiest bosses ever if you have a ring. If you don't have a ring, you're in trouble. But we are done. Well, the hilltop zone. Uh, next is Mystic Cave Zone, I believe. I almost got enough points for an extra life. 100,000 points is an extra life if you didn't know. And as before, keep going up. I like the upper paths for walkthroughs. They, they make it a lot easier because upper paths are typically easier. That's the point of a walkthrough. It's to show you the person the easiest path to get through the game. Well, unless you're doing like some sort of super walkthrough or something. I don't know what you'd call it. Like the hardest paths you can think of. Watch out for these things coming out of the wall. They pop out in rhythm. Oh! Oh! That almost killed me. I'm not going to hit that invincibility box. Why? Because I'm hardcore. Yeah. Okay, I'm not really that hardcore Sonic player, but I'm good. I mean, I should say good enough. Hey, what? Who the heck? You're, you're not, that's not supposed to be like that. Who hit the switch? You're supposed to get up on this platform and hit this switch to make this drop down, but it was already dropped down when I got here. What the heck? Never seen that before. Okay, if you go down here, it's not a bottomless pit, it's two ring boxes. I'm just gonna hit them because it'll give me an extra life. And we're done! And glitch in the screen! Woo! And there's my 1-up for 100,000 points. And another continue. And hit this switch. You want to stay on the upper path again, so be careful with these two platforms. Oh shoot, I fell. Uh, I guess I'll be taking the lower path. Oh well. Things happen. And You don't have to grab that vine, I just grabbed it for the fun of it. I'd recommend going through the center of those, because you can get squished if you go through the left side of them. Those boxes have a... Oh shoot really awkward pattern that you can get squished at if you don't have good timing. Okay, right here. Slow down. Now, make sure this jump is true. Okay, and wait for that to fall all the way. Because if you fall down in any of these pits, it's a spike pit of death. I fell down the first time, uh, first time I played this level as a kid and, oh man, I couldn't believe it. Because it, it didn't seem like there would be something that could kill you over there because of how high up you were. 
but oh no, it's not safe to go down there. Okay, keep going. When the boss is coming, make sure you hit this lamppost. You always want to have rings with this boss. If you die on this boss, you are in big trouble because of these spike things coming from the ceiling. Kind of reminds me of that weasel boss from uh, no, Circus Mystery. Oh shoot. Uh, he's almost dead. I think it's one more hit if I'm counting right. Oh, come on! Nope, two hits. Thanks, Tails. And we out of we are out of here. Um Looking at the clock, I think we'll have time to do one more act. And then I'm gonna eat dinner because I'm hungry. <laughs> I am having lasagna! My mom's lasagna. Best lasagna ever. It's true, a lot of people will say that. Oh, shoot. As before, keep going up because this is the oil ocean zone. Literally, the entire ocean is oil. So it's like a death quicksand if you go low. And then go left. Careful here. And right here. Oh man. I don't know why they put those spikes on there. You're never gonna get hit by them. I guess for detail or something. And jump across here, because you don't want to go down, as I said. Whoa. Get on the third one. Wait. It'll pop you up. There we go. Whoa. I almost fell there. Yeah, when you go up that slope, jump off the wall. Oops. Forgot, forgot you were there. Dang seahorse. Oh, forgot you were there, too. Shouldn't be talking. But I have to. Hit this. Oh! Shield box, because it's handy. I hate the shooting enemies in this level. They're so annoying. Whoa. And I'm gonna go this way, because I forgot what's to the right. I know this way is pretty safe. And I don't have to hit that, but I'm just gonna, anyway. These things kind of remind me of the barrel cannons in Donkey Kong Country, don't they? Same concept too, like automatic fires. And we're almost at the end. Oh geez, I'm at 8 minutes 3 seconds on this video. I gotta hurry this up. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Fire me. Shoot, shoot. 